everyone, my name is Haley Johns. I'm here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota, located off of Lake Superior. Today I get to show you yet another 2023 Winnebago Hike 100. This one is the 1316 FB. We'll start on the outside, work our way on the inside, and then we'll let you guys tell us what you think. All right, we're gonna start here. You get a electric jack in the front your propane tank cover and a propane tank. Your battery would be housed in the front. Now these bars here are not a roll cage. <laughs> these are actually to help hold gear. So if you are transporting kayaks or canoes, maybe some e-bikes and things like that, you have access to be able to tie them down. Those kind of go all over throughout the entire camper. So here you have a, if I can get them open, spray port. You have a hose in the back and amazing storage. I'll show you that in a moment. An outlet there with the spray port. You can hook up that hose, use it like a garden hose. This camper has a great electric awning on the door side of the camper, but there is also a bat wing awning that comes with this as well. And I'll show you kind of where that goes. If you watched my previous um, Hike 100 video, I kind of showcased that a little bit, but I'll go over it here as well. Nice little prep station, workstation. You can use your um, induction stove top. There is a propane quick connect down below there. So you can also use that um, with your grill. And this is that great storage that I was referring to earlier. Lots and lots of storage, lots of space. You can put all kinds of things in there. This is a really great camper. Um, it sleeps three and can hold a lot of things and is only, it's like 2,995 thousand pounds so it's under three thousand pounds which is fantastic for tow capacity um this is your bat wing awning that i have not set up um you do get a truma cooler so inside you do also have a fridge and freezer set up then you have your truma cooler out here so you are able to transport more food there's lights there's a cupboard that goes all the way into the inside and then there are a couple other cupboards as well Nice grate on the back, uh, carabiners tie down really nice on those, which is fantastic. Another spray port, so if you're back here um, doing any cooking, grilling, that sort of thing, you can use that spray port, spray things off. Maybe you need to spray off the dog too, or the bikes or the kayak before you load it up. And then your controls are in through this here for your electric stabilizer jacks there is another storage compartment so you do have access to be able to store quite a bit in this camper outdoor shower this is huge um, the bathroom in this is a wet bath sometimes people find them to be a little bit too enclosed you can use this it's got hot and cold water just get yourself a nice shower curtain or sometimes it's nice to just rinse yourself off you do get a ladder so this I will show you the pens just come out like so and then it just folds ugh, out if we can get it to fold out okay it doesn't want to cooperate with me today but this typically just folds out so you can climb up and do all of your outdoor roof maintenance on your camper which is great all right here is access to your cassette toilet so you just pull this blue little lever up. Wait, why is everything struggling with me today? Oh, you know what? It's locked on the inside. Ah, sorry about that. Okay, so typically you just pull this lever up, pull this out, and then it a handle flips out and then you can wheel it to the correct facilities. So then you're able to dump your toilet waste wherever is more convenient for you. What's nice about that is you don't have to be at any specific RV dump station. Um, you could do it just at any rest stop um, right in a restroom. There is solar on the side. So there's a ZAMP solar plug-in option right here. So you can always add additional uh, briefcase or um, flip open solar panels as well. So that is the outside. Now let's take a look on the inside of this. All 
All right, so like I said, you're able to sleep three people in here. So you can have one person up on that top bunk, but what's very convenient is they left a net. So you are able to just put storage up there or even just as you're traveling, you can put storage things up there and then move it down so someone has a place to sleep. We showcased the cupboard that goes through to the back. There are outlets on either side and USB plugins over there as well. Nice full size bed. You can fit the two people there. Storage underneath. And that is where your induction stove is or induction. What am I thinking of? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, moving on. So wardrobe storage here. So these black shelves actually go into the bathroom. So that's actually a good segue into the bathroom here. So this is your wet bath, really functional. So you're able to wash your hands in the sink, take a shower, use the facilities, or you could use it for storage. And I'll show you kind of how this works. You just put these right in here. And now for all of those adventuring moments, maybe you're out hiking and got caught in the rain or something and you need to dry out some gear. Now you have shelves to be able to dry out that gear right in your wet bath, which is fantastic. There is a curtain that would hook in here that does come across so your door doesn't get wet when you are showering as well. Very easy transition into the kitchen area. Nice sink cover. So it gives you a little bit more counter space, which is great. There is a phone connect. I always throw my phone on there and it charges your phone right from there. Space underneath the sink for your garbage and other storage. Storage up above, this is also a really handy tool to be able to use. Moving on over here. Another cupboard, you do get a Bluetooth speaker. So you are able to listen to some music as you're hanging out in your camper or maybe outside cooking your convection microwave. This does um, grill and bake like an oven. It's fantastic. And here's another counter space as well. Another place where you can put that induction stove top. There, that's what I was thinking of earlier. Induction stove top. I don't know why words came so hard. And into the fridge. And like I said earlier, if this isn't enough space, you do get that extra Truma fridge freezer combo, which is fantastic. See, and then my phone, because it's charging, buzzed on the charger, which is great. Well, there you guys have it, the 2023 Winnebago Hike 100 FB. My name is Haley Johns. If you'd like to work with me on this unit or maybe any other unit in the inventory, give me a call, 218-740-4997. And don't forget, I'm willing to go the extra mile to help you camp in style. Have a great day, everyone.